Thank you for choosing this tutorial on Network Function Virtualization, or NFV. Let's start with the principle of cloud computing, where inside an enterprise the computational resources for running the applications are no longer within the enterprise itself, but are rented instead from a data center for instance the servers as indicated here. Inside the enterprise are only a few computational resources such as a firewall and users and customers are accessing directly their applications in the data centers. Of course an enterprise can make use of multiple data centers for hosting the same or different applications as indicated here. Data centers can serve multiple customers simultaneously, for instance the different enterprises shown here, and even from a single machine multiple customers can be served by using for instance virtual machines on the same physical machine Furthermore, from the same virtual machines, multiple customers can be served. These are the so-called multi-tenant applications. For explaining network function virtualization, let's start with the use case of residential telecommunication equipment. Inside a home, we typically have a home gateway and a set-top box for watching digital television. The home gateway runs typically the following functions a DHCP server, a NAT router, a firewall and components for monitoring the quality of experience of the end users. These functions are called network functions of the home gateway. On the other hand the set-top box runs the following functions a decoder storage for storing movies and multimedia content middleware for interacting with the user through a remote control and also the streaming client for streaming the stored multimedia content towards the television these functions are also examples of network functions inside the set -top box. These network functions can be virtualized by removing the physical boxes in the home and keeping only a wireless antenna connected to the internet. The network functions of the home gateway and set -top box are hosted as software components on one or multiple data centers. For instance, the indicated machines here all host a virtual network function and the applications access them directly from inside the home. In practice, there are of course thousands or even millions of homes and all the network functions inside these homes or virtualized as software components inside the data centers. Furthermore, these homes are connected to a telecommunication network and inside these telecommunication networks there are also thousands of network functions for instance firewalls, message routers, quality of experience monitors broadband remote access servers, session border controllers, and much more. Instead of having these network functions on dedicated physical devices with specific hardware, these are all replaced by software components running on commodity hardware in uh, data centers. This is the core principle of network function virtualization. Let's now list the main advantages 
of network function virtualization. The first for the network operator is that dedicated hardware can be replaced with generic hardware and software-based functions, which is cheaper and requires lower maintenance costs. Resource utilization can be maximized and energy usage can be optimized, which is much easier with software components inside a data center than with millions of physical devices. Faster and easier deployment, configuration and updating of network functions is possible. For instance, when new services or updates or patches of existing services need to be deployed all over the network. And last, there is support for the network as a service business models. When service providers want to rent part of a network, including network functions for running their services. The advantages for service providers are that they can make use of dynamic scaling of network computing and storage resources based on their service requirements and also the reduced time to market for their services thanks to net network function virtualization. Which are at this moment the main challenges for network function virtualization? The first one are algorithms for efficient resource allocation for a huge amounts of virtualized network functions which are typically organized as service function chains and the deployment of these service function chains in dynamic scenarios is at this moment uh, a research challenge. The second one are algorithms for diagnosis and correlation of events in network function virtualization based systems and also troubleshooting when customers send uh, failure reports and want their services to be repaired as soon as possible. And third, algorithms for proactive resilience and high availability of the virtualized software defined systems. Thank you for following this tutorial.